In a groundbreaking development that's sending ripples through Canadian households, November 7 marks a pivotal moment for millions of old age security OAS and Canada Pension Plan CPPP recipients. As the cost of living continues to climb, this latest announcement brings significant changes that could reshape the financial landscape for Canadian seniors and pensioners. But what exactly does this mean for the millions who depend on these crucial benefits? Let's delve into the depths of this transformative update that's capturing the attention of Canadians from coast to coast. The recent announcement comes at a time when inflation has been a persistent concern for many Canadians, particularly those living on fixed incomes. The federal government's response through these changes to OAS and CPP demonstrates a recognition of the mounting pressures faced by seniors and retirement-age citizens. These adjustments aren't just mere numbers on paper they represent real changes to the daily lives of millions of Canadians who rely on these programs as their primary source of income during their golden years. Looking back at the evolution of Canada's pension system, we can see how these programs have adapted to meet the changing needs of the population. The OAAs, established in 1952, has been a cornerstone of Canada's retirement income system, providing basic income security for seniors age 65 and older. Similarly, the CPP, introduced in 1966, has grown to become an essential component of retirement planning for working Canadians. These programs have undergone numerous modifications over the decades, each time striving to better serve the needs of an aging population. The significance of this November 7 announcement cannot be overstated, as it addresses several key areas that have long been points of concern for beneficiaries. The changes reflect a comprehensive approach to addressing the financial challenges faced by seniors in an era of economic uncertainty. From adjustments to payment amounts to modifications in eligibility criteria, these updates represent some of the most substantial changes to these programs in recent years. For many seniors living in urban centers where the cost of living has skyrocketed, these modifications could provide much-needed relief. The impact is particularly noteworthy in major cities like Toronto, Vancouver, and Montreal, where housing costs and basic necessities have seen substantial increases. The adjustments to both OAS and CPP payments are designed to help bridge the gap between fixed incomes and rising expenses, providing a more stable financial foundation for recipients. Rural communities aren't left behind either, as the changes take into account the unique challenges faced by seniors in different geographical locations. The modifications recognize that while the cost of living may vary across regions, the need for adequate retirement income is universal. This comprehensive approach ensures that seniors across Canada, regardless of their location, can benefit from these important updates to the pension system. The timing of these changes is particularly crucial given the current economic climate. With global economic uncertainties and domestic financial pressures, many seniors have found themselves increasingly vulnerable to economic fluctuations. The announced modifications aim to provide a stronger safety net and greater financial security for those who depend on these essential programs. One of the most significant aspects of these changes is their potential long-term impact on retirement planning for current workers. While immediate beneficiaries will see direct effects, the modifications also have implications for how future generations approach their retirement planning. The updates signal a commitment to maintaining and strengthening Canada's retirement income system for years to come. The announcement has sparked discussions among financial advisors and retirement planning experts across the country. Many are analyzing the implications of these changes and how they might affect different demographic groups differently. For some seniors, the modifications could mean the difference between struggling to make ends meet and having a more comfortable retirement. Healthcare considerations play a crucial role in these changes as well. With medical expenses often representing a significant portion of seniors' budgets, the adjustments to OAAs and CPP payments could help alleviate some of the financial burden associated with healthcare costs. This is particularly important given the increasing life expectancy of Canadians and the corresponding need for extended healthcare support in later years. The changes also reflect a growing recognition of the changing nature of retirement itself. With many seniors choosing to work part-time or pursue encore careers, the modifications take into account the evolving definition of retirement in modern society. The updates provide greater flexibility and support for various retirement lifestyles and choices. For immigrant seniors who have made Canada their home, 
these changes could have particular significance. The modifications consider the unique circumstances of those who may have spent only part of their working lives in Canada, ensuring that the pension system remains inclusive and supportive of all Canadian seniors, regardless of their background. The technological aspects of implementing these changes have also been carefully considered. With more seniors becoming comfortable with digital services, the updates include improvements to online access and management of benefits. This modernization of service delivery aims to make it easier for recipients to understand and access their benefits. Financial institutions across Canada are preparing to assist their clients in understanding how these changes might affect their retirement planning strategies. Banks and credit unions are developing resources and guidance to help both current recipients and future beneficiaries navigate the updated system effectively. The impact on family dynamics is another important consideration. Many seniors provide financial support to their adult children or grandchildren, and these changes could affect their ability to continue offering such assistance. The modifications aim to strengthen the financial independence of seniors while recognizing their role in supporting extended family networks. Environmental factors have also been considered in the implementation of these changes. With climate change affecting living costs and creating new challenges for seniors, the updates take into account the need for financial resilience in the face of environmental uncertainties and their associated costs. Community organizations and senior advocacy groups have been closely monitoring these developments. Many are preparing to assist their members in understanding the implications of these changes and how to maximize their benefits under the updated system. The role of these organizations in helping seniors navigate the changes cannot be understated. The modifications also consider the increasing diversity of retirement lifestyles and living arrangements among seniors. Whether living independently in retirement communities or with family members, the changes aim to support various living situations and preferences among the elderly population. The impact on small businesses, particularly those that employ seniors part-time, has also been considered in these modifications. The changes take into account the growing trend of semi-retirement and the important role that seniors play in the workforce. The announcement has also sparked discussions about the future of retirement security in Canada. As the population continues to age, these changes represent an important step in ensuring the sustainability and effectiveness of the country's pension system. Mental health considerations have been integrated into the planning of these changes. The financial security provided by adequate pension benefits plays a crucial role in maintaining mental well-being among seniors, and these modifications aim to reduce financial stress and anxiety. The impact on various industries that serve seniors, such as healthcare providers, retirement homes and service industries, could be significant. These changes could affect how seniors access and pay for various services and support systems. Transportation needs of seniors have been considered in these modifications. With many seniors relying on various forms of transportation to maintain their independence, the financial adjustments could help cover these essential costs more effectively. The changes also reflect an understanding of the role of technology in modern retirement. As more services move online, having adequate financial resources to maintain digital connectivity becomes increasingly important for seniors. For those approaching retirement age, these changes provide new factors to consider in their retirement planning. Financial advisors are already working to incorporate these modifications into their recommendations for clients nearing retirement age. The impact on different generations within families has been carefully considered. These changes could affect how different generations interact and support each other financially, particularly in multi-generational households. Cultural considerations have been integrated into the planning of these modifications. The changes recognize the diversity of Canadian seniors and aim to support various cultural approaches to retirement and elder care. The role of technology in implementing these changes has been carefully planned. Digital systems have been updated to ensure smooth transition and effective delivery of modified benefits to all recipients. The impact on various sectors of the economy has been analyzed. These changes could affect spending patterns among seniors, potentially influencing various industries and services that cater to this demographic. For healthcare providers and senior care facilities, these modifications could affect how services are accessed and paid for. The changes take into account the increasing cost of healthcare and support services for seniors. 
The announcement has implications for charitable giving and volunteer work among seniors. With potentially more financial security, seniors may have greater capacity to contribute to their communities through various forms of giving and service. Regional economic impacts have been considered in these modifications. The changes take into account how different parts of the country might be affected differently based on local economic conditions and cost of living variations. The role of financial literacy has been emphasized in the implementation of these changes. Educational resources are being developed to help seniors better understand and manage their benefits under the updated system. For those with disabilities, these changes could have particular significance. The modifications consider the additional costs and challenges faced by seniors with disabilities and aim to provide appropriate support. The impact on senior housing communities and retirement facilities has been analyzed. These changes could affect how seniors access and afford various housing options in their retirement years. Future economic projections have been incorporated into the planning of these modifications. The changes aim to provide sustainable support while considering long-term economic trends and challenges. The role of digital services in accessing and managing benefits has been updated. These changes include improvements to online systems and support for seniors using digital services. For caregivers and family members supporting seniors, these modifications could have significant implications. The changes consider the important role of family support networks in seniors' lives. The impact on various types of retirement arrangements has been considered. Whether living independently or in supported housing, these changes aim to provide appropriate financial support for different living situations. Social support systems have been considered in these modifications. The changes recognize the importance of maintaining social connections and activities in retirement years. The role of community organizations in supporting seniors through these changes has been planned. Various resources and support systems are being put in place to help seniors navigate the updated benefits system. Transportation considerations have been integrated into these modifications. The changes recognize the importance of mobility and access to transportation for seniors' independence. The impact on various forms of senior recreation and leisure activities has been considered. These changes aim to support seniors in maintaining active and engaging lifestyles. Healthcare access and affordability have been key considerations in these modifications. The changes take into account the increasing healthcare needs and costs faced by seniors. The role of technology in seniors' lives has been considered. These changes recognize the importance of digital access and connectivity in modern retirement. For those with varying levels of retirement savings, these modifications could have different implications. The changes aim to provide appropriate support regardless of individual financial circumstances. The impact on different types of retirement communities has been analyzed. These changes could affect how seniors access and participate in various community living arrangements. Future demographic trends have been considered in these modifications. The changes take into account the evolving needs of an aging population.